pie is really, really, really simple, traditional pie. Um, I think it should be made with as few ingredients as possible. Um, I think pie is comforting. It's a thing that you want when you're cold. So for me, when uh, I had to come here and talk about pie, I feel like pie is always, a, a pie is a fruit pie. Um, all other pies to me are glorified tarts. Um, so I'm sorry, but it's just true. It's just maybe a little too high or something. But um, pie is a fruit pie. You know, it should be uh, an amazing, beautiful crust, a buttery crust that's just a wrapped around um, nice, lovely, soft fruit. Um, okay, so crust should be, is, always should be. Uh, butter, flour, sugar, salt, leavening, maybe if you feel like it. I use a little leavening in mine, and water. Um, I appreciate all the experimentation, but that's it. I just told you, you're done. No experience necessary. That's the pie crust. That's it. Um, you have to use really good butter. Um, pie is supposed to taste like butter, so obviously you're going to use good butter. Um, to make a really good pie, it's expensive. To make a really good pie, it really shouldn't be cheap. And frankly, you shouldn't eat pie every day, so that's good. So you should probably make like a little, I don't know, a little coffee jar by your room, you know, in your room, and that drop your quarters in and save it for the pie. Because, you know, in once a month, make yourself a really rad pie. Because it shouldn't be cheap. Uh, so get really good butter. Treat yourself right. Good European-style butter. Uh, in terms of flour, I always use AP flour, like you were saying. Um, I don't use pastry flour because I think it's annoying. Um, I think it's annoying to have to um, sift it. Uh, anybody who works in my kitchen knows that anything that's annoying, I don't do. Um, I find it annoying. And that's, that's the awesome thing about being in charge, is that just one day you're like, I don't have to do annoying things, that's awesome. So we, generally speaking, don't use pastry flour. Uh, every once in a while we do. Um, shortening, don't use it. It's disgusting and it tastes bad. Um, just don't do it. Um, and then sugar, you should never have your pie crust taste like sugar. Um, you don't want it to compete with your fruit. You always, but you do want a little, little, little bit. I'm talking like two teaspoons. That's it. That's the max. Um, you want it to just round things out. You don't want it to taste like sugar. Um, and then the most important ingredient in baking, um, in life, in anything, is salt. Um, write this down, make a shirt, <laughs> tattoo it on your body. I mean, if there's anything that I could bring the world, it is use salt in your crust, please. Um, I think it is so overlooked. I think it is so disrespected. I just think it's so sad. Um, so I will say, if you buy a pastry book um, and there's no salt, Salt in most of those recipes, throw it out, it's crap. Um, because no good pastry chef does not have salt, you know? I've seen her book, she has salt all in everything, you know? And like, you know, salt, 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 you need it. Um, and I will say that nine times out of ten, if you see another recipe and it does have salt, you're most probably going to have to double it. You know, people just don't put enough salt. Um, salt is not a flavor, you know? Yeah, every once in a while, you know, I make a maple bacon biscuit and it's supposed to taste salty and I put salt on top of it or salted caramels and, you know, but generally speaking, salt is not going to be a flavor. It's supposed to be a flavor enhancer. It's going to make your food taste like something. Um, it's going to make your crust not taste like a floury mess. It's going to make it pop. You're going to taste the butter. You're going to taste the crust. You're going to taste, you know, you're going to taste... And I think that um, salt is just the most underutilized ingredient in baking. And I think that it just bums me out so much. Uh, okay, so filling, filling. So to me, like I've said, filling in a pie is, a f is fruit. Um, so I think never use frozen fruit, please. Um, it's watery and it's gross and there's no point. And like I said, making a pie should be expensive. It should be an experience. It should be an afternoon. You know, I almost believe pie shouldn't even be eaten for dessert. It should be, it's an experience. You know, I mean, Mother's Day, all I did, I made a pie and we had our family over at five in the afternoon and we ate pie and then they went away. You know what I mean? And it was like, awesome. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's it, you know, and, and, and you've had a moment and it's amazing and, you know, and, and so it's pie. It should be, you know, it's a party. 
But um, so I will say that when making a filling, I think that the most important thing, and I think the biggest, one of the biggest mistakes that people do is they follow a recipe. Um, never follow a recipe when you're making the filling for a fruit pie. Taste your fruit, see how it is, and always add your sugar and always add it with your hand. Don't add it with a cup measure, don't add it with a tablespoon, don't add it. Add it with your hand, mix it with your hand, and keep tasting it. When it starts to taste sweet enough, you know you add your big pinch of salt, and then you add your little bit of cornstarch or your little bit of flour, whatever you want, and add as you're adding, don't think about what you want it to look like. And then you put it in your, put it in your pie shell. Um, so now is the most important part of baking a pie. And the thing that my second biggest pet peeve in a bakery or as a baker is um, how people bake. Um, they forget that this is also an ingredient. Um, so uh, color is flavor. Without it, you don't have flavor. Um, it just doesn't work, you know. It, color and baking time and how your pie looks needs to be treated as another ingredient. It's just as important as salt, sugar, flour, anything. If you forget your color, you didn't make the thing. I mean, it's done. It's not, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like you don't have chocolate for your chocolate chip cookies. It's not done. Don't make it. Forget it. Um, if you don't feel slightly nervous towards the end of baking a pie, you didn't do it right. Um, you have to give it color, you know? And honestly, if you're not a baker and you don't do it by trade and you don't really know, buy one of those glass Pyrex dishes so you can lift it up and see the bottom and make sure that it's brown. You know, there's nothing worse than a perfect pie with a blonde bottom. It's just the worst, the worst, the worst.